how to invite more flow in your life. Like there is flow, there is ease. Um, instead of pushing and being exhausted and um, uh, being burned out, I see this so much uh, in my practice. Women coming literally burned out, feeling empty, feeling lost, uh, often with depressions, um, and they don't even know what to do next to feel better. So. This is a very important video. I always, when I teach this, I always say this is like in math one plus one. This is like super basic, but very profound. So what's happened? We are at this moment, generally people, but also what's happened with women, we are much more in our masculine energy and in our heads. Uh, many things happen like in the last few decades because we work, which is great that we work. We are more independent. We make money, nothing wrong with that. However, what's changed that we are too much in masculine energy and too much driving and too much uh, pushing and, and striving and goals and competition competing with men proving them that they we can do as well and generally proving your worth proving your value through this this energy instead of being tuned into yourself aligned with yourself connected with yourself listening your intuition and um, making your life from that place. This is where the magic is happening, not from this, uh, this space. From this space, you can go to certain point and that's it. You're gonna hit the wall. You're gonna hit very hard with burnout or feeling totally exhausted and empty. So I'm really inviting you to start connecting with yourself start dropping into your more feminine energy feminine energy if you don't know what feminine and masculine energy is we all have those two energies and um, feminine energy is more about allowing receiving for example receiving support when you ask someone to for, to, su to support you so receive the support not saying no thank you very much i'm fine um, receiving love from your man allowing him to um, cherish you to give you all this love and and um, make you he wants to make you happy so just allowing that instead of being in control planning and and being very much in in your um, headspace um, but allowing and receiving even goes very much uh, further into even spirituality when we want to open up for messages for channeling for example you asking please help me with that whoever you asking your god um, angel spirits and they want to give you messages but you need to hear them and to hear them and listen to them you need to be very much in your receptive energy so this is very much important and also feminine energy is about being connected with yourself on a deeper level, being tuned into yourself, being aligned, doing your inner retreats, for example, why you have periods instead of pushing and, and uh, hating your part of your body or phases of your uh, being, you know, this is so important. So it's about also creating, giving birth to yourself every four weeks after period, but also giving birth to your ideas, um, projects, which are coming from this deep intuition, deep knowing, inner guidance, instead of, I'm gonna prove it, I'm gonna push it for no matter what, I'm gonna compete, I'm gonna plan it, I'm gonna be in control. Can you see the difference? Like Even I'm saying those words, I really feel already exhausted by just saying them. So imagine when you're living with this energy for let's say 10 hours at work, and then you're coming home and you're still doing things with masculine energy, instead of sitting and relaxing, tuning, uh, creating, opening, gathering, healing, you still are pushing and having long lists to do um, and it's blocking your flow in life and blocking you in relationship, in family system. It's blocking you everywhere and therefore you are literally here and chopped off from all your being. Uh, you don't hear any whisper of your soul and your body, like body is telling you, darling, I want rest. And you keep pushing and pushing and pushing until, of course, you get ill pro probably. Or your soul is talk telling you, do this project this way, call someone to help you. And you, no, I know better, I'm gonna do this way. So this is how often we block ourselves on so many levels, not only relationship, but literally everywhere. 
and I'm sure you feel it. If you listen this uh, video until now, probably this is uh, how you feel. So it's all about coming back to you. So spend more time with yourself, for example, meditating. And meditation is not about just being like a Buddha and not having thoughts. It's really coming back home, listening those whispers. Um, go for nature like this, parks or fields or beach, wherever you live. And keep connecting with Mother uh, Earth, you know, because she really helps you to ground. Like grounding is amazing. If you don't know what grounding is, watch my uh, another videos. I will explain what grounding is. Um, because all this puts you back into your body and connecting with your spirits and, and help you to ground. So instead of being in your head, helps you to be with yourself. This will, I promise you, will change so many things in your life. You will be much softer. You will be dropping into your feminine energy. And this is where the magic happens on many levels. Ideas are gonna be coming up like crazy and uh, you'll be attracting things which are more aligned with you. There'll be more synchronicity in your life. Just life will be much easier. So uh, thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Bye for now.